the art of knowing when to say no. Once upon a time in a small village nestled at the foot of a magnificent mountain, there lived a talented young artist named Isaac. Isaac possessed an innovative kind of creativity that intrigued the villagers, who admired his unique perspective on life. Not only was Isaac known for his breathtaking paintings, but he was also known for his generous nature, always ready to lend a helping hand to those in need. One day, as Isaac set up his easel by a picturesque stream, a disheartened young girl named Lily approached him. With tear-filled eyes, she explained that her family's crops had failed, leaving them with nothing to eat. Isaac's heart immediately went out to Lily, and without hesitation, he offered to paint her family's portrait as a way to help them through their difficult times. Lily was overwhelmed with gratitude and acceptance. Days turned into weeks, and Isaac was flooded with requests from desperate villagers seeking his assistance. Whether it was painting portraits or creating stunning landscapes to sell, Isaac's innovative creativity was now in high demand. Although thrilled to have the opportunity to make a difference in people's lives, he soon found himself stretched thin and exhausted. One sunny day, as Isaac wandered through the village feeling both mentally and physically drained, he stumbled upon an elderly woman, Evelyn. She had heard of Isaac's remarkable talents and asked him to paint a grand mural on the walls of the village library. While normally, Isaac would jump at the chance to take on such a project, he couldn't help but feel a sinking feeling in his heart. Isaac paused for a moment, his mind wandering back to the time when he promised himself that he would never ignore his own well-being. Deep in thought, he realized that he had been so caught up in pleasing others and giving without boundaries that he had forgotten the importance of setting limits. The innovative kind of creativity that had once fueled his spirit was now diminishing, and he knew it was time to say no. Summoning all his courage, Isaac gently declined Evelyn's proposal. Although disappointed, the elderly woman understood and respected his decision. Isaac spent the next few weeks dedicating his time to rejuvenating his creative energy. He explored new techniques, ventured into uncharted territories, and took leisurely walks in nature to find inspiration. Soon, word spread about Isaac's newfound innovative creativity, and villagers curiously gathered around his easel. The artwork he unveiled was unlike anything they had seen before, bold, vibrant, and bursting with life. Isaac's creations resonated with the villagers, evoking emotions they had long forgotten. His decision to say no had propelled him to greater heights, allowing him to tap into a source of creativity he never knew existed. Isaac became an inspiration to others, teaching them the value of self-care and knowing when to set boundaries. The village blossomed, not only economically but also emotionally. The spirit of innovation thrived, reminding everyone to never be afraid to say no when necessary. And so, Isaac's journey continued, guided by the understanding that his innovative kind of creativity should hold no boundaries, not even his own. His art became a beacon of hope, reminding all who encountered it that knowing when to say no was an art form in itself and art that only enhanced and elevated the gifts he shared with the world.